hello, everyone. Welcome back to our show. We're the voice for the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce Hawaii. My name is Barbara DeLuca, president and co-founder. I'll be your host today. And our special guest is Amari Hun. She is with Inspire Collective, and she's also the vice president and branch manager at First Foundation Bank. Welcome to our show, Amari. Hello, aloha. Thank you for having me. Of course. You know, let's start off. What is Inspire Collective? Yes. So Inspire Collective. So we are a faith-based uh, networking organization. We exist to impact culture and influence change. And we get together and have educational events, um, uplifting events, uh, networking events. And um, we're excited to talk a little bit about what's next. Let's talk about the second annual job and business development fair. When is that happening? Yes. So this is happening April 27th, Saturday. From 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., it will be held at Inspire Church, Waikele. Last year, we started thinking about what service project we can do for the community. And the idea of doing something like YWCA partner with YWCA Dress for Success, that morphed into let's bless the whole person by having you know, job fair, let's do seminar, let's bless them with gift cards or the clothes. So that's how the job fair came about last year. This okay. year, we wanted to make it bigger and better. So of course, we're doing the job fair portion and we will have fantastic seminars for job acquisition skills, like, you know, resume writing, interview skills. And this year I'm adding your online presence matters seminar. You know, I think it's critical to teach these things, right? So we're doing that. And the most exciting part, we're adding the business development fair. We wanted to include everybody. So whether you're looking for a job or you already have a business or in a career, you okay. can attend. The business development side will have seminars, um, financial seminars. We have communication, branding. So we have something for everyone. That's great. So just like going off of what you did last year, who would have thought it could have been bigger and better, but that's always the goal, right? When you have an event, yeah. you always go, that was great, but how can we make it even better? <laughs> so yes. are you still going to incorporate the um, dress for success? So this time we're not doing the dress for success, but um, what we're doing is the word we're, we're including <laughs> different seminars and in, inviting the youth, young adults, other churches, and other high school, college, community colleges, and even the people who are a recipient of social services, so that everybody who wants to get a job or better mm -hmm. your career can attend this seminar. So we're in inviting a whole lot more people this year. So um, like young adults, high schoolers, it, that's that's great. So you're just going to help them pretty much like start building their resume? Yes. Um, yes. So do you, how do you build a resume with no experience? I'm just curious. With no experience? So everybody oh. has skills, right? What are you good right. at? You know, have you volunteered before? You uh -huh. know, how how are you recognized at school? You know, those are your... Um, attributes. So we'll help you build the resume mm -hmm. based upon that. Right. Okay. Do they, is it an online resume like on LinkedIn? No, we're going to be, so the seminars are going to be in person. So uh -huh. we'll discuss how you should build your resume, what it should look like, you know, and what type of items you build into that resume. So it'll be done in person. And then if I have my own business and I go there, that's going to be a whole nother um, thing that you're offering. So can we talk about that? Yeah. <laughs> what does that look like? So I wanted to offer something for people who are already in the job. As a business owner or entrepreneur or business leaders, what do you want to do? Do you want to learn something and continue improve, improving your own skills? Do you want to expand your business? So we're having two different segments of communication and marketing mm -hmm. seminars and networking opportunity. And then the second segment will be financial. So somebody will be talking about financial thing and then somebody else will be talking about business credit. So mm -hmm. well, and then great. there will be networking opportunities. So business owners, it's really important to network, 
right? Yeah. So we have we wanted to incorporate that into the seminars. A lot of people are signing up to attend both, though. I broke it up so that you, you know, business busy business owners. I thought maybe you won't be able to stay for three, four hours. But I'm pleasantly surprised a lot of people are signing up for both segments, which is exciting. So Imari, we both wear two hats. I my first hat is a realtor broker, a real estate and Hispanic Chamber of Commerce president. And you also are doing the Inspire Collective and you're doing great things at First Foundation Bank as a VP branch manager. You were recently honored at the SBA Lender and Lending Office of the Year Awards. Tell me about that. So thank you. <laughs> so I love my job because you know we are a bank. But mm -hmm. this job is so different. They allow me to really be me. And and I, I get to go out in the community. That's that's what I get to do. I love this. So the award itself was for a du district director award. And they gave that to me because I do a lot of community service. And, you uh -huh. know, that's my world. I love it. Because um, as a bank, how I do my business is reach out to the community and spread the, the name of First Foundation and hopefully win their business in the future. So what, what I do, I just help people wherever I can find opportunity. And this job, it's really not a job. They allow me to do this. So very, very happy to be here. That's the best. When it doesn't feel like work, you're just having yeah. fun. You enjoy yes. what you do and they, they give you the freedom and flexibility mm -hmm. to be creative. Yes. Um, and that's how we met. I've been to a couple of your uh, networking events and financial seminars. And um, thank you for joining us today on our show. Uh, I was also looking at uh, one of your posts and it shows that you were presenting at Waikiki Community Center, um, a money saving tip for seniors. What yes, was that, that was a fun one. Yes. So huh? I've, I've taught at Waikiki Community Center before uh -huh. and I've done the typical um financial seminar like retirement or banking basics, how to avoid being scammed. So I've done that. So oh, wow. this time around, I was thinking, what can I do for fun that they they need that they don't have? And mm -hmm. I was thinking, well, a lot of their uh, population is seniors. And do they know where they can get their discounts and free stuff? And I started researching and I found out that in information is out there but it's bits and pieces and it's just so hard to get it all together. So I offered to do it for them. You know, so basically I made them a, a booklet of just resources. If you're a senior over a certain age, mm -hmm. you can get a discount at this store or you, know, you get free stuff, free phone, free this and free that. So that was really fun to present. It had nothing oh, to do fun. with the bank products and services. It's none of that. It's just to give them that gift of here's the information. Oh, and I'm sure they were welcomed you. They loved it. I'm so <laughs> glad I did. Especially when it comes to being scammed. I mean, there's so many ways to get scammed out there. You know, like I'm always cautious about clicking on links or anything like that. So just, you know, they're not aware of some of the things that we see every day. So I'm sure it's easier to scam them. So um, who who talked about that? So when I taught them that class, how to avoid being scammed, it was eye-opening to them. And it sometimes it's sad because they've seen these scams in their own lives. You know, like the romance scams, they're lonely. Their spouse may have been, you know, gone for a while and they're alone. So somebody targets them, you know, to be the boyfriend or the girlfriend and they start asking for money. And that's such a common scam, but they don't know that, you mm -hmm. know, or a lottery scam, you know, they burst their bubble, you know, they make them happy by saying, you know, you want this, they get all excited and they eventually scam these victims out of their money to claim the winning. And there's that type of scams all over the place. So, you know, it's necessary class to, you know, to share with them because they're vulnerable, you know? Yes, it's horrible. Um, what what other um, community engagement events have you done that were that were fun? <laughs> I I like teaching kids. So I've done um, junior achievement a whole lot of times for many, many years. Junior achievement is easy for me to do because they'll give me the materials to teach. 
and I just let them know what class or what grades I want to teach. And, you know, I just go and teach financial literacy. But as far as the way that I created my own material with the help of my teammates here, um, I have taught a monthly class, series of classes at Habilitat. It's a rehab center, long-term rehab center. And I taught anywhere from um, the scam class, I did that, and um, all about credit. That was a very popular one. They wanted to know how to better their credit. And I've taught them banking basics. Some people, you know, they were, they never had a checking account. They don't know what a saving account is. So the basic basics of banking, which actually I'm teaching that again next month for um, a sorority group that they just reached out to me last year. So I can't quote the name. I I, I don't remember exactly what um, sorority that was, but I just replied back that I will teach them again. And that's the banking basics. So I have wide variety of classes that I can teach that's already made. But what I love doing is that if you have a topic, financial related topics that you want me to teach, give me a month or so, I can create it for you. I have a team of you know, experts that can help me build a nice presentation. So when I meet a nonprofit organization, uh -huh. um, if there's an audience, let me know what, what you need and I'll be happy to create it. Well, we're a nonprofit and we have an audience. Maybe I should let me know what what can I bring uh -huh. to the table? Yeah. I know I have to think about that. Yeah. The credit is always a really popular one. Mm -hmm. Um especially if you had a hiccup in the history, you know, how do you fix it? How, where do you go first? Or how do you maintain a good credit? What is a good balance of, you know, credits? You know, not using any is not a good thing, actually. You know, that type of stuff. So I'll be happy to teach that. Or if you come up with any topic, I'll be happy to create it. Yeah, we need to survey our members and see what we can put together for sure. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, um, that's a lot of great stuff. Anything else? I've taught um, Keiki to Kupuna. So okay. there's no like age group that I'm targeting. I I will go and teach. Actually, I taught at a kinder, kindergarten. Well, actually, the kids were there, but I taught the parents so that the parents can teach their kids the concept of needs and wants, making good choices. So that was also a really empowering class. It's good to see the parents light bulbs going up, you know, going off so that they can teach because at the school or wherever we can teach whatever we want. But if the parents are not instilling that, you know, at home, the kids will never improve. Right. So it was good to teach the parents at the kindergarten. So preschool, that, that was a really fun one. that I've done. That's good. Cause I was wondering, how do you teach children so young, but you're right. You, you teach the parents and then they implement it at home. Mm -hmm. um, just like little decisions, you know, give them a little allowance. And if they want candy at the store, like you got to, okay, how much is it going to cost? <laughs> yeah. Do you want this or this? <laughs> um, Keiki to Kapuna. Okay. So we talked about Kapuna at the community center. You got Keiki. We got the young adults at the high school. I mean, yeah, we can all learn young adults that, you know, don't just using their experience or even from high school, you know, if you're a a leader in high school, or if you're involved in, um, I don't know, sports or uh, student council or whatever it is, you can really apply that in, in your resume. Because like you said, we all have skills. Um, yes. and, you know, so with the job fair that's coming up, I really want to teach the, the young adults how to do interviews. You know, do you really know that you can't show up in, you know, t-shirts and shorts? You can't. You cannot, you shouldn't be bringing your um, girlfriend, girlfriend or boyfriend, you know, <laughs> I've seen, is, right? I've, you know, and I've seen somebody show up with a grocery bag, like the plastic bag. I don't know what was in it, but like, you know, you, you have to present yourself. Well, it's the first impression, you know, do you sit like this or do you sit straight <laughs> up? Are right? you going to be just knocking on the chairs the whole time? You're going to fish. These are the things that we need to teach our next generation. And I've taught something like this through junior achievement to the younger kids too, but mm -hmm. the high school, college, even young adults, if they have not been taught, they don't know. So 
you know, maybe adults too. If you've never been taught, you don't know this. So, you know, I'm passionate about teaching those skills as well, not just the finance, but how to get a job, how to keep a job. You know, maybe that's also a topic that's that we huge. should offer, you know, for young adults. Yes. I mean, don't text your boss and say you're not going to come in today because my husband runs a restaurant. He's like, why are you texting me? I'm off. You have to call in and let us know. Right. Yeah. Right. But <laughs> if even, we don't uh, teach them, they don't know. They don't know that's not appropriate. So, you know, I'm all for teaching. Exactly. My son's 18 years old and, you know, he's going to be interviewing. And so we're kind of going over the same thing with him. You know, what kind of questions that my husband might ask when he's looking for staff um, or, you know, never leave the interview without asking a question about the company. Like if they say, do you have any questions for me? Don't say no. Google the company, find out about them, and then ask some questions about what you learned on the internet. It's, you can find anything online. <laughs> yes, you have to do your homework. You mm -hmm. know, it's definitely as a person that interview people, it is a turnoff if somebody shows up saying, oh, I don't know anything about your company. Right. And you didn't take the time to research. You and know, you want you to work for us, to... but you don't know anything about us. <laughs> yes. yes, it's okay if you don't know, but you have time to research, right? You want to put in that effort and the future employer would definitely appreciate that, you know, but there's so many things that we think that's a common sense knowledge, but it's not, you know. This has been a, a inspiring conversation. That's why it's called Inspire Collective. <laughs> Yes, and so, there's a lot of great events through Inspire Collective. They're yes. doing a golf tournament um, okay. April 22nd. Um, mm -hmm. So that's a big, fun event they're doing. Uh, they're, they constantly have events. So smaller events are like the coffee chats, the morning, you know, quick, quick powwow, you know, and then to the luncheon event where there's a speaker and you, lunch and learn type of event. They even have big gala type of event at the hotel so we do have from you know small to big events monthly series like um, mentorship type of events there's there's a lot of stuff offered through inspire collective what's the golf tournament about is it a fundraiser fundraiser for inspire collective i mean this is a non-profit well it's not officially a non-profit yet but yeah. it will be so inspire collective is there to serve the people and we need money to put together events so we do this kind of event so that we can do bigger and better yes we need to talk about the golf tournament because i wanted to do one for the hispanic chamber of commerce but uh yes i need some guidance <laughs> maybe i'll learn from them and i'll partner with you definitely and those coffees sound great so when are the coffees so they, they do have various times. So I know there's one on Friday, once a month on Friday morning in town. There's another one at Waikiki location. And there's one in Kailua as well. So if you go to Inspire Collective mm -hmm. website, just type in Inspire Collective, all one word, and you will be, even without being a member, you'll be able to see the calendar of events. And a lot of these events, you know, I can invite you, you know, even uh -huh. if you're not a member, I can invite you so that you can come and see it first before you join. Yeah. And I like that they're across the island, you know, it's so open. that way, yeah, if you live in Kailua and you can't make it to Waikeli, at least you have them, um, you know, in different locations yes. and how else to find out about it, but, you know, to get invited and go and check it out. Like, so um, if you, let's just say our, our viewers look online and they, they see on the calendar that they want to go to a coffee event, who, who would they contact to get invited or can they just show contact up? Contact me. Contact <laughs> okay. me. Yep. You can always contact me. Oh, there's her information <laughs> on yes. the screen. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, okay. So how does the membership work? I mean, is it like a BNI or uh, where you can only have one realtor or is it for everybody? Oh no, oh, no. it's open for anybody and everybody. We invite Oh, I'm not a business owner, but I am mm -hmm. a member, you know, so you can be a member, whether you own a business, you're a student or anything. And so it's not very costly. So check us out. Oh, okay. Um, so you want to discuss that or, or just check it out? <laughs> well, I want you to check it out. And I think you should come to the event and okay. then you would know why you should join. Definitely. I need, I need to, um, yeah, go check out the coffee when it's in Waikele. So yeah. I I'll go online and look. And I'll say, Amari invited me. <laughs> yes, 
Yes, you'd be my guest. All right. Um, anything else you want to cover on the um, job fair before we end our show here? Yes. One more time, a plug. So April 27th, Saturday, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Inspire Church, Waikele. And uh, there's ample parking available. There's donuts. There's giveaways. If you're looking for a job, if you want to elevate your job, you want to upgrade, or if you're hiring, definitely contact me. This year, the table number of tables are a little bit limited, but I still have availability, so contact me. If you're a business owner, entrepreneur, or a leader in a community, there's something for you to learn. There's going to be seminars, multiple seminars throughout the day, and it's free. You just need to register. So please check us out and join us. I like how you did the um, the vendors. So you didn't charge them, but they just offer something for the giveaway. That's That's great. That's super smart. Yeah, we're not doing this to make money. You know, we wanted people right. to benefit from. So it's a win-win situation. Well, thank you for coming on and talking about the um, event. And you guys go go check it out. Feed your brain. You should never stop learning. <laughs> um, it's going to be a great opportunity to network, make new friends, and expand your circle. And you might even win a prize. <laughs> so thanks for joining us. Uh, and we'll see you in two more weeks on Hola y Aloha. And adios. We want to announce that ThinkTech Hawaii is moving into a new phase and will not be producing regular talk shows after April 30th. We will retain our website and YouTube channel and will accept new content on an ad hoc basis. We are also developing a legacy archive program to provide continuing public access to our content. If you can help us cover the costs of the transition and the development of our legacy archive program, please make a donation on thinktechaway.com. Thanks so much. Aloha.